not fluent in Korean, that means in short how happy South Korea's Navy is to be in Portsmouth. Two ships are here, destroyer Chung Mu Gong Yi Sun Chin, named after this chap, a 16th century admiral, the Korean Nelson, and the Dae Cheong, a armed supply ship, think our Royal Fleet Auxiliary. Both ships comprise the Cruise Training Task Group. It's the Republic of Korea's way of exposing the next generation of officers to the rigours of sea time. 149 midshipmen from the 72nd graduating class, all sailing together in their fourth year of study. Lieutenant Junior Grade Dong Wook Kim is public affairs officer for the deployment. All of the crew of the ship think it's really great to visit Portsmouth. In Korea, there is a mother port. It's at Chinhae. And we knew that Portsmouth is a kind of mother port for the UK. So we are really glad to visit Portsmouth. The Chung Mu Gong Yi Sun Shin is impressive. Five inch main armament. SM2 air defence missile with a 90 nautical mile range. In fact, the UK and Republic of Korea navies use a lot of the same equipment, an example being the Wildcat helicopter. We're being taken from the destroyer to the Dae Cheong, a traditional oiler supplying fuel during a replenishment at sea, and these are the fueling rigs for doing that. But when on cruise training task group duty, she's a lot more than a floating oil tanker. Whenever a ship comes into a foreign port, there's always an element of defence engagement about it, showcasing what your navy can do. But well, the Koreans do it a little differently. I've never seen, for example, a defence industry exhibition hall on an active warship before, but we've got one here, and it shows everything from what the Korean Navy is all about, its capabilities, to what the country can do in terms of defence, what they can build and what they do build, right down to the culture of the Republic of Korea, up to and including the phenomenon that is K-pop. It's been fascinating being on these vessels and their visit benefits not just the midshipmen cadets. And to have the Republic of Korea right, with two vessels in Portsmouth, unusual, fabulous. It's a relationship that's burgeoning. We've just had two of our own Royal Navy vessels in uh, Republic of Korea over this year. We've got another one visiting, Argyles going in later this year. So it's a, it's a relationship that we're nurturing. One thing we're seeing from all the displays on board, and indeed the interviews, any talk of North Korea. Political questions weren't welcomed, and it wouldn't have been fair to press the point on very junior officers. But for the next generation just entering service, what happens with North and South will likely shape how their naval service goes. For now, though, this visit reinforces the close bonds between the UK and South Korea. <laughs>